Hello YouTube, it's Ellsworth Day 101 and I'm going to show you my uh, little thing I made in my previous video. Basically, it, there's a switch and a light and I have a whole circuit board behind this. And what it let, lets me do is it lets me control a channel of lights and it lets me either make them steady on or sensitive to music. Right now it's steady on and I only have one channel but I ordered a bunch of parts from Hong Kong on eBay to be able to make uh, six to eight channels but I'm only going to do six channels on this because there's not enough room okay so here's steady on and the uh, what you'd be looking for is this fan right here now here's sensitive to music but there's no music playing so it's off so now I'm going to play some music with FUBAR Now I have to switch it to the music. It's um pr pretty much instant. It's a lot better than those cold cathode kits you buy on eBay that you don't have to plug into your sound card and they hear the music and they react to them uh, that takes up latency but this is all in a circuit so it's all wired and here I'll try popping out this bit right here and you can see my circuit board right in there I have uh, tape over it though so that way it doesn't short out to anything and then it's plugged in with that cord right there into my power supply. And then this uh, is a status LED, and I'm going to have one of these per channel, and it tells me, uh, well, it basically shows me exactly what the fan or the LED, the lights will be uh, doing. Oh, God. Dang, I can't get this bay back on. Oh, well. You might be wondering right now how I got to control the lights individually, like, if I pause the music, the lights are off, but the fan is still spinning. So I'm going to make a video on how I did that. Basically, what I did was I disconnected the LEDs from the fan, and then I soldered them all in parallel, and I did this all underneath the... Like, it looks uh, like it just came from the factory, but it's actually all modded inside of the fan. So I, uns I uh, desoldered all the LEDs from the actual fan's board, soldered them in parallel on wire, and then I made one negative wire coming from that fan into my controller behind here. So that's how my LEDs are powered separately from the fan. And then after I get six channels, I'm going to have all my fans like this where I can have them steady on or yeah sound reactive or steady on so thanks for watching my video please check out my video on how I did this it's pretty cool and check out my other videos and please subscribe thank you